Bangladesh has locked another 88 fresh fatalities due to the coronavirus over the past 24 hours. The total number of fatalities due to COVID-19 currently stands at 11,393. 2,341 people tested positive from 24,928 samples collected. With these numbers, the tally of infections has reached 7,56,955. The data was shared by DGHS on Thursday. Italy on Wednesday imposed a travel ban on travellers from Bangladesh, a health ministry statement said, in a move aimed to prevent a spread of COVID-19 infections from the South Asian country hard hit by the virus. The health ministry has signed an executive order banning entry from any border point to anyone who has stayed in or transited through Bangladesh in the last 14 days, a health ministry statement said today. The High Court has said it will not hear any anticipatory bail plea filed by Boshundhara Group Managing Director Saim Sobhan Anvir at this moment due to the tougher restrictions imposed by the government amid lockdown as well as the provisions of Supreme Court. A virtual High Court bench passed the order on Thursday. The MD is being sued in a case for inciting a 20-year-old girl to commit suicide who was found dead in her Gulshan home. Bangladesh has approved the emergency use of China's Sinopharm COVID-19 vaccine amid a supply squeeze. Director General of Drug Administration, Major General Mahbubur Rahman announced the approval on Thursday. The first shipment of 5 lakh doses of Sinopharm vaccine will arrive in Bangladesh within two weeks, he added. The United Nations General Assembly on Wednesday adopted unanimously a historic resolution introduced by Bangladesh on drowning prevention and proclaimed 25 July as World Drowning Prevention Day. The permanent representative of Bangladesh to the UN, Ambassador Rabab Fatima, introduced the first ever one of UNGA resolution on global drowning prevention, which acknowledges the silent epidemic for the first time in UN 75-year history. Environment, Forest and Climate Change Minister Mohammad Shahabuddin today said the government has set a target to increase the country's green coverage to 24% by 2025. He said the government has taken various initiatives to ensure the visible improvement of Bangladesh's environment and deal with the adverse impacts of climate change, which has been recognized globally. The Environment Minister was speaking at a virtual dialogue from his official residence here, a ministry press release said. The United States is sending supplies worth more than 100 million US dollars to India to help it fight a surge of COVID-19 cases, the White House said in a statement on Wednesday, reports Reuters. The supplies, which will begin arriving on Thursday and continue into next week, include 1,000 oxygen cylinders, 15 million N95 masks and 1 million rapid diagnostic tests, the statement said. For more than two decades, the International Space Station has orbited 227 nautical miles above Earth with more than 200 astronauts from 19 different countries enjoying stints aboard. China, whose astronauts have been long excluded from the ISS, successfully launched the first module of its planned space station on Thursday morning, according to the Chinese National Space Administration. Indonesian authorities have seized 2.5 tons of crystal meth after a series of raids linked to an international smuggling ring spanning Afghanistan and Southeast Asia, police said, reports Reuters. The huge drug haul estimated to be worth US dollars 82 million was found after raids in three locations, including in the capital Jakarta and in Aceh on the island of Sumatra, the country's national police chief said yesterday. Madame Tussauds announced Wednesday that Harris will be the first vice president to be immortalized in wax. Harris's likeness will stand in the Oval Office section of the attraction's New York location. Harris's wax figure will be clad in a purple blazer and dress accessorized with pearls, just like Harris was on Inauguration Day. 